at Gulliver's World Theme Park in July 2002. A 15-year-old girl named Salma Salim was disallowed to share a cart on the Ferris wheel with her mother. Salim, who had Down syndrome, pleaded with park employees along with her mother, despite neither of them knowing much English. In the end, the employees retained that Salim was too large to sit with her mother, and the two women were separated and entered different carts alone. As the ride ascended, Salim somehow managed to climb out of her seat and fall 20 feet to the earth below. The young woman died from her injuries, and an investigation took place soon after. They discovered that Salim had not been seated improperly because the safety bar was still locked. While questions arose as to just how the young woman managed to squirm out of her seat, Gulliver's World Theme Park was fined for having split up the women in the first place. Action Park in New Jersey was, at one time, completely synonymous with injury and death. Having enacted laughable safety measures and generally being staffed with underage teenage burnouts looking for summer jobs, the rides were complete shams, including the miserable performance of the Cannonball Loop, a water slide with a full loop at the end that worked approximately 15% of the time, and was the cause of numerous abrasions, concussions, and near suffocations. Action Park, from its opening in 1978 to to its embarrassing close in 1996 was the site of six deaths, three of which were drownings. One was an electrocution, one at no fault of the park, and one heart attack brought on by the shock of ice cold water under a rope swing. In 1999, the park was reopened and renamed Mountain Creek with new safety regulations and fewer accidents. At a Six Flags in Atlanta, Georgia in 2008, a young man named Asia Ferguson lost his hat after the wind whipped it away while he rode Batman the Ride. Once the roller coaster had ended, Ferguson looked for his hat through the safety of a fence until he found it sitting under the bars and beams of the ride. Ignoring the multiple do not enter signs posted all over the roller coaster's frame, Ferguson scaled the fence and climbed over, racing toward his hat as the ride went on its next turn. Ferguson would never reach his hat, however, as the front cart of the coaster barreled toward him at 50 miles an hour, striking him so quickly and with so much force, the 17-year-old was instantly decapitated in front of park guests. The Big Dipper roller coaster was a primary attraction to the Battersea Fun Fair in London, England when it opened up in 1951, boasting an incredible size and seemingly death-defying speeds. Sadly, the coaster would live up to that promise in 1972, 20 years after its opening. As the train cars ascended their first hill, a cable broke loose, and one of the carts snapped away from the rest of them, tracking back down the hill at an untamed speed. The cart slammed into five children at the docking station, killing them almost instantly, and injuring another large group of kids and adults. The incident would be the final breath of the Battersea Fun Fair, as it closed down just two years later, due to low attendance and the public's enragement at the horrible accident that claimed five young lives. At another Six Flags Park, this time in New Jersey, a haunted castle walkthrough attraction was the site of another horrific loss. On May 11, 1984, as park goers wandered around the ride looking for cheap scares, the attraction caught fire. The flames quickly spread and were not dealt with immediately due to the ride's lack of sprinklers and smoke detectors, as patrons raced to the nearest exits covering their mouths to escape the smoke. However, eight teenagers were not as lucky as they became trapped and lost in the ride's walls and were burned beyond recognition. The park came under heavy scrutiny due to the horrible safety measures taken and was unsurprisingly sued. Six Flags managed to get out of the lawsuit, however, under the loophole that the building was deemed a temporary structure and the fire was mostly attributed not to a technical mishap, but an act of arson.